So I got this new boom arm from Toner. It's the T90, sounds something like straight out of Terminator. Come with me if you want to live. I think that's the thing they were going for because it sounds cool, it looks good, and well, it functions pretty good too. Let me tell you about it. Disclaimer, Toner did send this out to me, but don't worry, Toner's not telling me how to say it, what to do, or anything like that in the video. If I see any room for improvement on the product, you guys will know as well as them so they can make better products for consumers like me and you over time. Let's talk about specs of the product before we get into the, well, the other things of it, of course. RGB and stuff like that. The specs, well, this got plastic shelling on the outside of it. The shelling doesn't feel very plasticky or it doesn't feel like it's very cheap. It feels pretty good. This body underneath is straight still. Therefore, it's, it's not gonna just fall over and break on you anytime soon. This thing is heavy duty. The arm length on this thing is 29 and a half inches long, all the way extended, and it, yeah, it's pretty long. So the bottom arm does a 10 to 130 degree uh, tilt, and then the top arm does 180 degree tilt. And then you also have your your mic arm right here that does a total of 240 degree angle tilts. So you you get a lot of like different tilt and angles and stuff where you can move this arm around. This thing does swivel a total of 360 degrees. The swivel on it is not bad at all. I was able to swivel it. It swiveled pretty nicely. Talking about swivel and stiffness and stuff, one of the things I do have to talk about on this uh, stand is it does feel a little stiff pulling it in and out, extending the arm. This is made for heavy duty style mics and stuff. I feel like this is kind of like a, you know, if you have a cheaper desk, you know, you want to be careful because the base of it will kind of bow in on the desk a little bit. Something that I saw, something when I was testing, I actually reached out to Toner themselves, the marketing team that sent me the product, let them know about it. They actually told me that they're going to be looking into this and seeing if there was something we can do. I did suggest maybe adding a tensioning screw on the arm itself to be able to adjust the tension rate, the you know, consumers ourselves be able to adjust the tension rate. That way, we can have it exactly where we want it. So if we need it lighter, we can make it lighter. If we need it heavier because we have a lighter mic or whatever, we can make it a heavier tension on it. So mic weight on this, you could put up to a four and a half, well, 4.4 to be exact pound mic on it. Um, I use the Rode Mini Mic. It's, you know, not too heavy, not too light. I feel like, I think it's like two, two, two point something pounds. Uh, it works good. I have no issues with it at all. Now let's talk about cable management on this thing. I absolutely love what Toner did here. They added sleeves at the top, kind of like Elgato did with their magnet ties, uh, top cable hiders and stuff like that. But Toner did it a little bit differently and I actually appreciate how they did it here. It's not magnet ties, they actually slide and clip into place and they made it enough room there underneath to where the cable actually will move. Like there's room for the cable not to get pulled when you move the mic stand around and stuff, the mic arm, excuse me, around and stuff. And it won't, you know, stretch the cable or stretch and pop that thing, uh, pop the cover off because they left a little bit of room in there. So Toner does advertise 11 different light modes on this boom arm with the RGB lighting in it. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I feel like it's just really five. Uh, what it is, it has seven different colors and they're cutting seven of them, the, you know, stagnant color. So, you know, red or blue or whatever, it's just a single color. They're counting that as a mode. Realistically, I think that just a solid mode should be one and then you have your other four. Now, you're able to use and switch through these with the sensor that's on the back of this thing actually. And it works really, really well. They did a very good job designing this and being able just to touch the sensor on it. And it pretty much worked every single time I played with it. I played with it a lot just to see if you hold it for several seconds or three seconds, it will actually cut the RGB's lights off. And then if you hold it for another three seconds, it would actually cut the RGB lights back on. So that is nice. What isn't like the best thing 
on this thing though is I don't really know what mode I'm in until I can actually see the lights working and moving and stuff. There's nothing really online that tells you like, hey, if you hit it the first time, it's gonna go to Spectrum Radiant. If you hit it the second time, it's gonna go to this cycle. If you hit it, you know what I mean? Like, unless you're on the solid colors and you just know you're cycling through them, I don't know which, you know, of the special modes I'm going into because it's just you kind of like cycle through and hope for the best tile thing. One thing that it doesn't have on it when it comes to RGB lights and stuff is it doesn't have the, doesn't have firmware or anything where you can plug it into the computer. This is actually just, I feel like it's just some kind of strip inside that's lighting up. It's, got, it's running off five volts, one amp. You can plug it into any kind of USB type A and it hooks up at the bottom underneath one of the covers as a USB type C. So you don't get the functionality to be able to connect this to maybe your Razer Central where you can connect all your lights and have them in sync and stuff. Not the, not the, not, not the band in sync, baby, bye, bye, bye. I'm talking about in sync with colors. Calm down. Baby, bye, 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 bye. The price of this boom arm is $79, but wait, there's more. Actually, Toner sent me an email out last week, let me know that they wanted to go ahead and offer my audience a 10% discount code as well. So in the Description below, I'm gonna post the link to get to this arm as well as a coupon code. You're gonna get 10% off. It's just gonna come out to $70 and some change instead of $79.99 or whatever it is. And yeah, it's $70 for this boom arm. Is this worth $70? I absolutely think it is. I mean, if you go out and buy the Elgato low profile, you're gonna pay at least another $30 for that boom arm. And it doesn't have RGB lights. So what are you guys waiting for? You got any other suggestions you would like me to maybe do reviews on for the get desk setup or streaming setups? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you check out one of the videos over here that YouTube is recommending you watch next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and love. I'll be back.